This is Kristen from Homemade Frontier. Welcome to Learn to Knit. This is lesson three, the purl stitch. For the purl stitch, you need to have the yarn to the front of your work. Not the tail yarn, but the yarn that's attached to the needle. Hold the yarn and the, and the stitches in your right hand. Take the needle in your right, no, this is my left hand, right? Right, sorry. Hold the yarn and the needle with the stitches in your left hand and the empty needle in your right hand. Slide the needle from the right to the left to the, in the front of the stitch. Wrap the yarn up and over and pull it through. Take the stitch off the needle. From the right to the left to the, on the front of the stitch, wrap the yarn over and pull it through from the right to the left. I find the purl stitch easier to do quickly. Slide the needle from the right to the left in the front of the stitch. Wrap your yarn around, pull it through, slide it off. From the right to the left in front of the stitch, sort of from the bottom to the top, from the bottom right to the upper left. Wrap your yarn, and when you wrap the yarn, you, you don't really see it, because you see how I'm holding the yarn down? It's kind of hidden in there, so you just sort of have to trust that magically it's going to appear on the other side. From the bottom right to the upper left, wrap your yarn, Pull it through, slide the stitch off. The purl stitch is the reverse of the knit stitch. So this is stocking stitch or stocking net stitch. Uh, it is knit a row, purl on the way back, knit a row, purl on the way back. Um, it makes a nice, neat, smooth pattern and it is my most favorite in all of knitting. Left to its own devices, it will curl up. Um, so it's not, yeah, it curls up. Um, and then the reverse side is, is the back side, and that's called reversed socking stitch, which sometimes you need, you need for something. Um, 